What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. There's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal! If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. For the hundredth time, why would they need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows, but I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. Hold on. Did you just say that you... Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. This is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal to disrupt our trip to Kanai War. Hence, why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible. Though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars 
is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, and pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, there's smoke. There's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Sure, I got it, thanks. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated. But Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. See, thank you very much. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes, the Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety, but I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. 
Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter! Huh? Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although, we only seem to have coffee here. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Zange doesn't want to talk about himself. Is he staying quiet to avoid drawing attention? Could he be the imposter? I don't know anything about his powers, so he is suspicious. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh? Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. What? Uh, Zange? 